Google just wrapped up Chrome OS Dev Day and there was a lot of cool stuff to check out, but we wanna look at one thing in particular. Uh, zero touch enrollment allows companies to hand out devices and people can just log into them and their stuff's just there. But they highlighted Parallels today, which is the program that brings the full Windows desktop experience to Chrome OS. And that's now part of the zero touch enrollment. So we wanna take a look at exactly how that works. Alright guys, so if you've ever dealt with managed devices, whether it's via school or a business, you know that a lot of the stuff on a Chromebook is handled on the back end by an IT administrator. They have control over what apps are installed, what things you can and can't use on a device. Zero Touch Enrollment takes that a little bit further and it allows administrators to actually hand out devices and when the user logs in, everything they need is already there. So the admin can have extensions, applications, things like that are already set up from the Google Admin Console. And it just makes it a lot easier to handle and manage the infrastructure of a business. So with zero touch enrollment and parallels, companies that are dependent on legacy Microsoft apps, Windows apps, things of that nature, they can actually install parallels on the back end. They uploaded the Windows image to a server and then they can put their licenses in the admin console and assign them to a user or a device. And this allows them to actually remotely, they can drop ship a device to an employee that's working remotely. When that employee opens it up, logs in with their company credentials, whatever that domain may be, everything they need is already there and that includes Parallels. So you can see right down here on the taskbar, this is the Parallels icon. So this is the Parallels desktop and when you start this up, it will install the local Windows image and create the virtual machine that you need to run Windows applications on your Chrome OS desktop. And this is all part of Google's initiative to allow companies to move into the cloud and using Chrome OS full time because they know a lot of companies still have some applications that they depend on and they need that they cannot run on Chrome OS. But Parallels is that stopgap that will allow them to go ahead and move while still having access to critical applications that just can't run on a Chromebook. So you'll see this is already on the device. It's not installed. This is similar to the way Crostini Linux works. It's a container and a virtual machine. You click this and click install, and then it's gonna prompt you that it's setting up the Parallels desktop. Now understand, this is not just downloading a virtual machine. It's actually installing the custom built Windows image that your company has. So it's not just a Windows installation. It will also have whatever predetermined applications you need for your specific use case can be installed on this image. And then when you install the virtual machine and it sets up the Windows desktop, everything you need, whether it be Excel, Corel, whatever it is, will be there for you. And all of your company's infrastructure will already be integrated. And it allows you to use this on the go, wherever you go, and you don't have to spend crucial time setting all of this up because it's already there for you. Now this is a large download because it's installing a full blown version of Windows to run parallel to Chrome OS. So this is gonna take a few minutes, but we'll be right back to see it when it's done. All right, so here you have it guys. This is a full blown version of Windows running on Chrome OS now. Just to be clear, this did take about 30 to 35 minutes to download and install. But remember, this is an actual Windows image being installed on this device. And once it's installed, Parallels is the go-between. It is the virtual machine that Chrome OS accesses to view the Chrome OS desktop. So it is installed locally, but you're accessing it virtually. But the cool thing is, is that now that this is installed locally, Parallels will actually let you use this offline. So we have all of these applications that were pre-installed with our license. So you can use whatever browser you want. Chrome works really well on it. Obviously it's Windows. It's gonna recommend Microsoft Edge, but you can use whatever you want. There's Corel Photo App. Uh, all kinds of stuff on here. This image came pre-installed with a few different applications, a Corel photo app here, and uh, just some different things. But your company can design this and tailor it for whatever need that you have. So they can pre-install the applications that you need. If you're, if you're into finances and you need macros for uh, Microsoft Excel, they can, up, they can install that on the image for you. Whatever the case may be, they can customize this for your specific environment. Then when you install Parallels and run the Windows desktop, those applications will be there for you. And the cool thing is, is that if you wanna keep your workspaces separate, you can just use desks and you can see here, I actually have 
Chrome OS on this desk. So I have no Windows stuff running here. I've got all my Chrome OS stuff here. And then I can quickly switch back to Windows if I need it. Because remember, this is designed to be a stopgap. This is not so you can just run Windows all the time on a Chromebook. If you were gonna do that, you'd just buy a Windows device. This is to help companies transition to the cloud and transition to a Chrome OS centric workforce. Uh, so this allows them to continue using those applications until they can figure out an alternative or transition to web-based tools, Chrome OS, Linux, whatever the case may be. But with the zero touch enrollment, you can literally hand out these devices, ship these devices however you want to whomever you want. And when they log in with their company credentials, this stuff is already there. And the cool thing about this Parallels desktop is that now that Windows is installed and it's running essentially on bare metal. Once you shut down Chrome OS or if you close the lid or anything like that, Windows pauses in the background. It doesn't go away or anything like that. So you're not stuck waiting for Windows to start up again. Uh, it will install updates and everything for applications and Windows just like a regular Windows desktop would. But Windows is very responsive on this. Now, obviously it is running through a virtual machine. So when you open applications, Everything seems to run pretty smooth, but you'll see a little bit of lag here and there. And it's just, it's not rendering perfectly, but it runs smooth and it's not just smooth enough. This is running well enough to get some work done. But remember, this is a Core i7 device with 16 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of storage. And Parallels does recommend that you have at least a Core i5 and eight gigs because the virtual machine and Chrome OS and Windows all running together takes a lot of horsepower and it takes a lot of space because you have two operating systems running side by side. But we're gonna do a full review of Parallels here in a week or so after we've used it for a few days. And then we're gonna do some backend stuff and show admins how you actually install this and run this and deploy it to your fleets. Uh, but for now, guys, that's been it for this one. I just wanted to give you an up close and personal look of what it looks like and how simple and easy this new deployment method is for Parallels and just the zero touch enrollment in general. Guys, if you like this, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And if you wanna check out more content, hit that notification bell because we've got a lot more coming your way and you don't wanna miss out. We'll see you next time.